find the measure of MN. Okay, what we've got to look at here is we've got a circle and we've got two congruent arcs. So we know that this central angle is 106, so the arc's 106. So this angle would be 106 and this arc would be 106. So we've used up 212 degrees out of our 360. So MN would just be 360 minus 212. So that would be 148. So that's what MN is on this one, 148. Okay, let's look at the second one, which is number 20. We've got a drawing here, and I've got to add the two congruent arcs. Okay, what that tells us is this chord MN is congruent to PQ because we have congruent associated arcs. If this arc from P to N is 67 and this arc from M to Q from M to Q is 91, we can just add those together. And so we're going to take 91 plus 67 and that's going to give us 158. And what's left over out of our whole circle? We have 202 degrees left over, but we need to split those equally between these two angles. So we're going to divide by 2 and get 101 for each of these two arcs. Okay, and if we know that we've got the arc, then we're done because that's the measure of the arc. Okay, now let's look at number 21. Okay, let's look at our picture here. We have a circle. We have perpendicular and two congruent chords. That means T is the center, and then it's pretty easy from here. Everything's kind of symmetrical. Okay, if so if you folded this in half, it would all match up. So that's 140 and that's 140. And we need to find the measure of MN. So here's the arc from M to N. Well, we've used up the circle with 140 and 140. So we've used up 280 degrees. What's left for MN? Well, we just take 360 and we're going to subtract 280. And that's going to leave us with what? Um, 16, 80 degrees. So this arc is 80 degrees and we know also that it would then take it and split it into two equal parts, 40 and 40. So the other way you can do that is say, okay, PQ is a diameter. If this is 140, then that's 40. If this one's 40, this one's 40 and add those two together. So you can do it that way too. Just another option to do that. Let's jump over to number 29 okay it's a little more elaborate so let's draw it in okay we have arc BC is 34 degrees so BC is 34 so go ahead and label your diagram okay arc AB is congruent to DE or ED so we have arc AB is congruent to arc ED. Now that's kind of odd because we also know that it's probably going to, since this is perpendicular, goes through the center, we also have these congruent, don't we? Okay, and then they're asking for AE. Okay, AE is this unknown arc. Okay, so since we know that this arc, BC, is 34, we can then label AB to also be 34 because we have this core being bisected so the arc associated arcs are equal. We've been told that AB is the same as ED so that makes this 34 also. So what's left for AE? This is our unknown X angle. So let's think about that. Well we got 60, uh, 34 and 34. If we add those together that gives us 68 and this is a diameter so this half is 180. 180 minus 68, that's going to give us 2, 1, 112. Okay, so that's 112 degrees. And that's how you get number 29. So the strategy there is pretty simple. You're going to draw your picture, you're going to label your information, you're going to mark congruent parts, and then you can just transfer information around. Sometimes I don't focus so much on what the question is, I just start marking the diagram with things that I know. Okay, so on the next page,